Okay, uh, today you'll be doing function generator and oscilloscope based uh, lab. So this is a function generator probe. This is a oscilloscope probe. This is considered the positive side and this is considered the negative side. Okay, now this is a function generator arbitrary system which you will use uh, as your input signal and you you will change the frequencies the vpps and the duty cycle if needed and then here is where you show your output using an oscilloscope so now we will plug in the function generator probe into the main not into the scene but into the main so push it in and twist it so once done now you take the oscilloscope probe you plug it into the channel 1 same thing push it in twist be gentle okay now you pull this oscilloscope probe and then you take this red color source you clip it together same goes for the other one as well you clip it them together okay so now let me tell you regarding how to use the function generator system. So you can see here there's function, frequency, amplitude, offset, duty, point, value. The things that you'll be using more is the function where you can see that when you press this, it changes into square wave. And then you press again, it changes into sawtooth wave. This is noise which you'll never use. ARB also you'll never use. You only will use sine, square and sawtooth. So now we leave it at sine wave. Next we we'll move on to frequency. At frequency you press the frequency option then you press uh, let's say 100. Then you, here you can see there's an option to press hertz, kilohertz, megahertz. So now we can just press hertz for now. See so it changes. So if let's say you want to change it to 1 kilohertz, again you press frequency, then you press 12, and then you can press kilohertz. You see, it changes to kilohertz. Moving on to the amplitude, when you press the amplitude, you will see it blinking here, then you change it, you can change it to 1.5. We have VPP, VRMS and DBM. You will only use VPP in your instrumentation subject. So there we go. So again, if you want to change, press amplitude to VPP. You'll get it. VPP here stands for uh, voltage peak to peak, which means two times of amplitude. VPP is half of your amplitude. Two, VPP is divided by two and you get your amplitude. Okay. Once you have set everything in your function generator, then you press the output option here. If you do not press the output option, you won't have any output signal here. Okay, so now once we press this, there you go. You can see sine wave is being outputted. So you press this uh, auto set option so that the graph goes within the display. So you can see everything here itself. So now let me uh, demonstrate regarding what happens here in the oscilloscope side. In the oscilloscope side, you need to see this represents the number of per box. You can see one box means 500 millivolts. So just now we set two volts peak to peak. So 500, 500, 500, 500. Total you get two volts peak to peak. So you can see they have the period, they have the uh, frequency as well here. The frequency that we set the other side is 12 kilohertz. So you can see it's 11.99. So the accuracy is sometimes plus minus. It's around there. So now, as you can see in your uh, lab paper, you're supposed to see what happens when you press measure, right? So when you press measure, you can see there's a display. If you do not see the display, Press the display all uh, button, then you can select the source. The source here depends on whether you are using channel 1 or channel 2. Currently, you are only using channel 1. So, select channel 1, 
and therefore you get this measurement summary. So in the measurement summary, you can see you can see the peak to peak, the max, the amplitude, uh, the period, the frequency, a lot of things you can see. For now, you're going to use only like around five to six of it only because you're just a level one degree student. So moving on to the side where you press display. So when you do, want, do not want to see this uh, particular figure, press this menu off option. So when you press this, okay, the, the other side goes off and then again you press. Everything disappears and you get back the normal display. So what happens when I press this button? This button here has uh, just four functions. Intensity here is regarding how you adjust the contrast of your display, meaning like you want to uh, adjust the brightness to more brighter and everything and then your your sine wave can be more darker the lines or thinner it depends how you want graticule is regarding how you want your background of your grid here look to look like so you can see there's no more x-axis y-axis line then no dotted lines behind and just the frame of the sine wave so let's leave it at full so that's on your display side so the next thing is regarding save and recall. Save and recall here is more of uh, six options. You do not need to save the regarding the setup, but usually your lecturer would want you to save your uh, image of your sine wave that you have generated. So you can press the save image here, then you will see. Always leave it at PNG, it's one of the options here. And then ink saver here means uh, regarding your black background here to appear as white when you save it. So ink saver, when you turn it on, when you save the graph, you, you view it, your background here will be white, but your graph sign still will be yellow. So ink saver is on means you, you're going to save your printing ink. Huh? So let's just leave it at that. And then when you, save, when, you, uh, when you save this, this option here will save into the oscilloscope. So it's best when you plug in your pen drive, you will see USB detected. If you have already plugged in and you do not see that uh, message popped up, meaning the uh, compatibility of your pen drive does not suit with the oscilloscope. Therefore, maybe you need to change your format of your pen drive to FAT32. Okay, so moving on to another part is regarding the zoom option. So let me just press again this thing. Okay, say, uh, sorry, zoom. Okay, the zoom function here, you can see, you adjust this position, you can see your move. See, the horizontal meaning it moves left and right. And then for the vertical side, you can see, you, you, you just print, uh, see, goes up and down. This one is for uh, the channel one. This is channel two. So you adjust your horizontal. So in order, if let's say you already gone above and then you want to go back exactly in the middle, if you have OCD, then you just double click on this. So it goes back to zero position. Same goes for this one. It goes back to zero position. And then now we can see that your <laughs> X exists and Y exists. Always your Y exists is always voltage and your X exists is always time. So this is your uh, Y exists and this is your X exists. Just remember that. Okay. So every time when you do certain functions or you're changing your Okay, uh, unzoom this again so that you get back your normal waveform. So let's say every time you are changing your function generator uh, values, let's say amplitude 5 pick to pick. Okay, so it goes like this. Let's say you put 20 pick to pick. So you see, if again every time you see your great, uh, waveform is exceeding the, the frame area, press this button so that the magic happens for you. So it adjusts everything for you, so you do not need to worry. Okay, that's all. Thank you.